A very warm welcome everyone, thanks for joining me once again. My name is Nick and we're going to be playing Major Motion on the Commodore Amiga, published by Microdill in 1988. It's an arcade style vertical scroller, much like Spy Hunter, which was an arcade game by Bally Midway in 1983. So hopefully we can have a bit of fun here. The story is a draconian league have taken over the roads and it's up to us to shoot everything down and protect the innocent. Well basically, I'm just going to be shooting everything I can I can see essentially. So very Spy Hunter-ish. Let's see how we get on. The car's going to go out of the support van, so we must survive as long as we possibly can. Occasionally the support van will turn up and we'll get extra weapons, which you can see on the left there by pressing a certain key on the keyboard. Oh dear, I think that was a, um, a civilian. But anyway, by pressing the key on the keyboard we can activate those once collected. And um, yes, I'm going to have to concentrate. It plays a bit like a PD game, a public domain game. But it looks like it's going to be, oh dear, going to be fun if I can actually stay alive. We're driving a Porsche or something. Let's go. There's major motion going on. You don't have to think too much about in, about this game. Just, just uh, well, it's mindless arcading. Go, go, go. I'm not sure a Spy Hunter come out on the Commodore Amiga, so this might be the closest you could get. Action Fighter is another one, but I'm preferring this graphically to Action Fighter straight away. I don't know if we turn into a boat or an aircraft like in that one, but here we go. That car seems indestructible. Lucky for him. Now, cars will try and bash you off the road. You can try and knock them off the road as well. Right, I'm going quite slow here, but it's probably best to go break this speed. Right, support car. I like the ambient sounds. What have we got? We've got some sort of L. What does that do? Smoke screen. Right, okay. Using the joystick and the keyboard at the same time is a little bit tricky as we go over a puddle of doom. There's forks in the road. Helicopters will shoot at you occasionally. It's, oh, look at that. Avoid that sort of thing. Don't get hit off the road. That'll do them. Smoke for you guys. Smoke them. Keep going, keep going as long as you possibly can. So you've seen the, you've pretty much seen all the gameplay straight away as we go over this bridge. I don't think there's any jumps and um, we've been blown up again. I don't know any cheats for this game for infinite power, but I'm sure there must be. It's the sort of game which would play quite well now on a phone or iPad. Whoops, oh dear, we're dead. Right, so our score is quite puny compared to the top scores, which means I'm not very good. So, Major Motion. It's not a bad name. Um, for what it's worth, I'm not sure if this is a full price game or not, but nice fireworks there. It, it plays well and it's a good bit of fun with a few friends. You can do one or two players, I believe. There we go, one or two players, I weren't lying. I'm the only player here, let's do one. If you do two players, you do take it in turns. It, it, it is Spy Hunter, isn't it, really? It is definitely Spy Hunter. If Spy Hunter did come out on the Commodore Amiga, let me know, because uh, my knowledge, I don't think it did. On the ZX Spectrum, it was quite a cool game. It's much different to this, but I loved it back in the day. The Spectrum version was probably the first one I played. I've uh, also reviewed it on the Game Boy Advance quite some time ago, and that was, that was very awkward to play. But this one, graphically, is the best one I've played so far. Although, because uh, the Spectrum version, the first one I played, I've always got a soft spot for that. But this is this is good, I'd say. Doesn't look probably doesn't look much now if you're a modern day gamer just getting into retro gaming. But believe me, this was wondrous. Let's go, 1988. So five years after the arcade cabinet from 1983. Oops, there we go. See, if you're pulled along, you will run out of time. You're supposed to be protecting the innocent here uh, and getting. So as far as you can for the, um, well, normally it was a time running out, wasn't it? I can't see any time going up or down. The support van annoyingly is over that side. I can't, oh, an aircraft come and shot me. I can't get over the other side because, um, like you know, if a car touches grass, it will explode. Look, listen to the sounds on this. Good gun sounds, good ambient sounds, helicopters, good. Can I go up there? Come on, I want some weapons. No. So check out on the left there in the display, when uh, the, the lorry goes yellow ow! When, <laughs> when the lorry goes yellow you uh, can go out and get some weapons. Look, there's my crashed car there and I'm dead. Oh god. Did even worse than last time. 733 points. Mm. 
If you've completed this game, let me know what other stages turn up. Now I'm presuming the graphics around change like desert and snow and town and all the all the usual fanfare. We're gonna have a few goes on this, I think. Well, we're not not for hours and hours and hours. So in summary, then, although we're not we're not at the end of the video. In summary, then it's a it's a no nonsense, no brainer. Um, Spy Hunter clone, where you shoot everything and just survive as long as possible, which which wasn't very long at that time. It is quite addictive because I do want to get good at this one, and I think there's probably some tactics you can go slow at certain places and quick in other places to get through, uh, and collecting much more weapons, which I haven't collected too many here, I'll probably see you through. I think there's a missile there as well. What am I going to get this time? No, see, I've got the smoke screen again by hitting L on the keyboard. Now, those um, letters, those, the keyboard is redefinable. And that didn't do much good, did it, there? But I think I've got some points. You get three cars for each um, mission. You're like James Bond, really. You're a super spy trying to clean up the streets in this unknown sprawl of a, well, I say city. It's like a crazy motorway, isn't it? Going through country and everywhere. Well, I don't think we can get out the country here. We've got endless bullets, they will never run out, but all the other weapons do over the bridge. Is this further as we got before? Oh, how are you supposed to outrun a, a jet fighter plane? Probably by getting a missile somehow. The traffic is quite big here. Fortunately, fortunately I've got three cars. Right, the van's going to... Oh, over ice or water? What's that? I don't know why we're, I don't know why we're driving over a river. Maybe it's just ice. I don't know, but it looks different anyway. We missed the van that time, only got a limited amount of time. Oops, got a bit of a boost there by a support team. This is a very dangerous road to be on, I wouldn't recommend it. If you're going to go down the shops, try a different route. Right, can we get up it? Right, here we go. What are we going to get? Oh, what's that? We've got something or other. I don't know what that is. There's no letter to activate it, we've got that automatically. What is that? So I think this must be increased bumper, I think. Get out the way, everyone. I'm late for work. Go. Frill fork in the road. Right, this is my best go so far, which isn't difficult. Keep going. Keep going. Do not stop. This would be quite good fun in two-player if you were both at the same time, but I do believe the two-player mode is alternate goes. I... Not many people would have been aware of this, I don't think. I certainly wasn't. But uh, if you was looking for Spy Hunter, you probably would have run into this. Major motion. And that's my best go so far. I think it's worth one more go, isn't it? Nick's really hogging the back end of the leaderboard. But there's still three zeros there. I don't know if we'll fill all of those up. Probably not. I think it's worth another go. I I'm guessing those people in the top of the leaderboard, they're people that coded the game. Yes, they are. Right, this is the one we're going to do it this time. Let's pick up all the weapons. The missile, um, stink bomb. I don't think there is a stink bomb, but everything. If you hit any oil on the road, you might occasionally see it as a black splodge. The car will spin a little bit, and that could cause death. There's a few blue splodges, which are puddles. I don't think they cause too much uh, problem. But it's like dodgems, this game. It's like dodgems. Right, what's that? Kai, I've got a false field, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I think we're bashing the stuff. We were invulnerable for a bit. Got, t got two of those left. Hmm. It's not, not a big boost, that thing. But if the traffic gets quite bad... Oh, I'm always coughing here. Maybe I swallowed a fly. If the traffic gets quite bad, then it's good to put that force field on. Points ticking up there. 1,300 and something. Can we get to 2,000? Oops. Get away. Oh, that's not very friendly, is it? They are obviously enemy agents that don't want us to succeed in our mission. This is major motion. It's not general motion. It's not lieutenant motion. It's major motion. It's not admiral motion either, before you um, chime in. Sergeant motion. General accident. Well, general accident is what I'm having. This is... Our team need to practice going up the ramps and stuff. Right, we've got more of that um, false field decay stuff. Over the ice, which we got to before. If indeed it is ice. It's as cold as ice. No sacrifice. I don't know what that song is. It just come into my brain. And like most things in these commentaries that come into my brain, they end up in the actual video. Hooray! Right, over the ice. 
helicopter not shooting at us, or is it? I'd like to see an energy bar here. That would be quite nice. Seems to be if you hit a few times, you just die. Yeah, energy bar will be good. I'm not sure if there's any updates on this or a major motion tool, but we're going back a bit. Micro Deal 88. I think they become Micro Pros later on. Um, later games were Stunt Car Racer. It's actually phenomenal. Stunt Car Racer knocks this one for six. So, by all means, this isn't the, uh, the greatest Amiga game in the world, but it is quite good uh, fun to play. Play it for what it is. Don't judge it to be some polygon extravaganza super game. Yeah. Good, good, good. As the fireworks fly away. Right, last go for luck, I think. Last go for luck. Get out the way, support car. My name's Bond, James Bond. He would be in an Aston Martin, though, wouldn't he, James Bond? Maybe going slow is the way forward. We've got 10 points. Oh, actually, if you go slow, the points don't go up. Look, it only scores you points for going quickly. So quick, quick and speedy wins the game. Wins the race. Right, yeah, so the quicker the... Yeah, if you go slow, you get no points. That's no good. Over the dirt track. Will we get back to the ice again? That's the question that no one is saying. Whoa! Didn't realise I'd pick up that missile there. Aye. No, missed it. It hasn't got very good range, that missile. Okay. Hmm. I'm hitting other keys to see if anything else happens. Hit the missile by error, but glad I did. Oh, I know. I don't want to press a button that quits it. Quite often in these games, hopefully, there'll be some secret functions you don't know about. There probably is some cheats for infinite power, and you can go on forever, see what the whole game looks like. But I'm not doing too bad as in terms of gameplay and talking at the same time. Often when I'm playing the game and not talking at the same time, I do a bit, be bit better. But I'm guessing on this one it's not going to make too much of a difference as they, they push my carcass up the road. Oh no, that wasn't fair, was it? I didn't even get a chance to start then. Boo! It's tough being a secret agent. Don't tell everyone you're a secret agent like James Bond does. He's supposed to be a secret agent, but how many times have you said, my name's Bond, James Bond? Oh, thank you very much, it's not a secret anymore. Right, I know who you are. You should have made up a name like Ralph Booby. Or um, Toby Carvery, that's a good name. My name's Carvery, Toby Carvery. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Have a drink, please, pint of gravy. Speed it! Right, over the ice again. This is going to be the last goal, so wish me luck. Will we get to the end of the game? I don't know what speed we're doing. Yeah, they're the two things we want. An energy bar and a speedo. Thank you very much. And when I say speedo, I don't mean those swimming trunks. Oh, well, that's it again. So I filled up the board practically. Nick, 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 Nick again. And um, that's pretty much that's pretty much it for Major Motion, as I put my name in capitals this time. Oh, that, was, that was supposed to be exclamation marks, but it doesn't like exclamation marks. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Major Motion on the Commodore Amiga, published by Microdeal in 1988, and based on the arcade cabinet Spy Hunter, I presume, by Bally Midway from 1983. Thanks for watching that again. Got any comments about this game, uh, the Commodore Amiga, any other Spy Hunter clones that you might have come across, then please put your thoughts below. Always welcome, as to the knowledge of the channel. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and um, a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.